Twin Flames and welcome to your quick energy check-in for Sunday. So we're going to use the Divine Structure Deck for Twin Flames for the message. So what's the question? Straight out. So the question today is timing for communication. Wow, maybe you're thinking right now, when is this going to move forward? When is he going to communicate? And they're making me move the camera, which means adjustments are required. So the masculine here is preparing to reach out. I know you can feel it. You feel something's coming. They're also giving me tooth pain connected with decisions. So decisions are happening right now within the masculine's life to be able to free them up for communication. So they can communicate with you in the right way and tell you how they really feel and clear the air and resolve things and apologize and sort things out. So that's the energy that's coming in. We've also got a message from your higher self. Very powerful. So first of all, we're going to use the Moonology Manifestation deck. So timing for communication. Now, what I'm feeling with this is at the moment, anything can happen. The spontaneous energy, the masculines really want to communicate and express themselves and show you how they feel. And you know that through your higher self, through the way you feel. So trust the way you feel. You know, the message for the coming week and the weekly reading is talk less, feel more, which means trust what you're feeling. So if you're having that real sense of urgency to contact them, it's because they are feeling that sense of urgency to contact you. So that doesn't mean you should reach out to them. It means you're still doing the right thing, trusting them to reach out to you, but also follow your heart. So what's the timing, please, angels, for communication? Anytime. The angel's saying it could be absolutely any time because everything is on track and everything is moving forward. So the message is we've got trust the universe. Wow. So again, trust the timing of it all. And these are also messages, remember, from your higher self because your higher self is always speaking to you. It's the ego that brings in fear and struggle and doubt and worry. It's the ego that wants it now or wants it a certain way or gets triggered by things. When we are in the higher self, we are focused on love. And we know we're always receiving communication from our twin through music, signs, synchronicities, even the feelings that we feel. So the message is trust the universe. It knows what it's doing. It's sorting things out. Things are happening. And the Aquarius energy is bringing in power. We've got the last quarter moon in Aries here. Work through your feelings. So the masculines may need to work through their feelings before they can communicate. And that's what they're doing right now. And also, if you're feeling triggered about the timing of communication or the timing of union, ask yourself why, become the observer. And then you also work through your feelings and you let go and begin to trust the universe, to trust the timing of this journey, to be on time, which it will, and know your worth. So also, the masculines need to know their worth before they can reach out to you. That means sometimes they don't feel that they deserve your love or your time or your attention or even your energy. And they feel that way sometimes because of the things they've done in the past, the way they've treated you, the way they've behaved, the way they've mistreated you. And they know that's a mistake that they need to heal. Even though in spiritual truth, there are no mistakes, there's only lessons that lead to love. So the masculine is gaining the courage and the strength and the bravery to communicate with you in divine time. And the new moon in Taurus is showing that to you. So this is about them taking the bull by the horns, them being the one that needs to reach out to you, to take the lead in your connection, to show you that you can really trust this love and trust the universe. And that's what you're being guided to do. And that's the message from your higher self. So I'm going to do a message from your higher self. Look at this, go wild. So this is showing you anything can happen, be you. Go wild as an energy where when we be ourself, magic takes place. Do things you're being guided to do. Take a leap of faith. And I feel this is what your masculine is doing or your person is doing, taking back the reins of their life to follow their heart and their truth and their passion, which always leads to you. So regarding timings, just be in the flow and take it easy. So I want to bring in one more deck because I've got time. Remember the saying, there's always time. We're going to use the divine timing deck. This is my deck. So timing for union and communication. Wow. So again, it feels the same. For some of you, when you come back into communication, it's going to be moving straight into union. For others, you're going to talk, sort things out and maybe still need a bit of time to move into union. So remember, every journey is unique and special. 
So the message is, look at this, trust in divine timing, timing for communication, trust in divine timing. The angels are with you. They absolutely are. You are not alone. You have protected. Your journey is safe. And we've got the Aries energy here. So this is ignore the dates there. Aries is about taking action, passion, movement, fire. And when things seem a bit shaky, baby, boy, your faith by breathing and calming your mind and being in the now. So this is showing you power. What's happening is the masculine's taking action towards you. So trust in divine timing. And if you're looking at the dates, they may mean something to you. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to receive communication next year. This is saying to you, it's the energy of fire. And we've got that here with the Aries energy, which is saying passion, desire, and working through your feelings. So trust the journey. Everything is on track. Everything is on path and you are safe. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.